So it's Monday. Monday. We had a bit of an incident yesterday when I was at work. George managed to pull down this curtain rail or pull in on that curtain. So I've done a temporary fix. Um, though it's not right because it's stud walling. I'm going to have to put some wood batten up to properly strengthen it. It's back up for now, but it's probably not going to last long. That's the first thing I had to do today when I got up. Second thing is, George wasn't very well this morning. So, all yesterday. So he's having, he's having a sick day. But we've got his parents evening today, so we're in a bit of a conundrum what to do. Probably what's going to happen is I'm on a night shift. His parents evening is at 5 p.m. I start work at 6. So probably I'm going to go and do his parents' evening on my own. So we've got only a couple of issues that we want to bring up. Not worried about how he's getting on to what's in school, but a couple of things about his transition into school that's becoming an issue, which we want to talk to him about, which I'm going to do. And you can tell he's not himself because he's just thrown his crystal on the floor, which he never does. The space raiders. Oh dear. Why oh, are you feeling tearful? Oh no, never mind. Never mind. You're watching cars. Oh, never mind. Yeah, so as you can see, anyone that's watched any of our vlogs before, he's not really himself. His temperature's just been up and down a bit. He's had a bit of medicine, but I think he'll be alright to go in tomorrow because his, his temperature hasn't been going up since really yesterday, so we think he'll be alright. So yeah, a, bit, a couple of things you want to discuss about his transition into nursery. Um, so probably what I'm going to do is, Amy will probably get Matthew from school, I'll wait here, and then when I go to work, which is normally half past five, I may as well go to work, go to his school, do his parents' evening, and then go straight to work. Not ideal, because we'd both like to be there, but it means we'd, we'd have to get someone to watch George, and if he's not very well, there's someone that would watch George who's got kids and would come with, so it's probably best to just give him a bit of space, Amy stay here with him. So that's probably what we're gonna do. But this here, as you can see, I'll show you, this is what happens when you live in an autism house. These wooden things are straight into the wall and really what they need is, like what we've got here, this wooden batten. We don't have that there because we didn't have a curtain rail there before. So, I'm guessing I'm gonna to have to put up some squares of batten um, or a long strip of like batten and then put them into because it's obviously just not strong enough going straight into the stud wall. So that's going to have to be a task to do on their, what day is it today? Monday nights, no, Tuesday nights. No, that'll have to be on Wednesday or Thursday, providing they're both at school, I'll have the time to do it. I can't do things like that when they're here, it's impossible. I've got to get the drill out, I've got to cut, I've got to get saws out, it's, it's impossible. So that's something for the my days off. We still haven't finished the little room. We still got loads to do. Um, Amy's went to get a little bit of shopping whilst now I'm up because I had a lime because I'm on nights tonight. So that's it for now. I'll try to get an update of Matthew when he gets home, see how he got on from school, but it's going to be a short vlog and just an update. I may have to update George's, how his parents even goes tomorrow when I come home because I'm going straight to work. So we'll have to see how that goes, but I will give an update on it. So we'll catch you in a bit. So a bit of a vlog confession. I went straight to George, from George's parents' evening um, on my own um, because obviously Amy had to be at home with the boys and George wasn't very well. Um, his parents' evening went very well. What are you doing? His um, parents' evening went very well. Um, he's progressing really well. He's doing everything that they're expecting him to do and... There's no concerns really from them. The transition from going from place to place in, in school is difficult still for them, which we already know, because we know the transition from home to school is difficult. We kept them off today as we said we were going to do, and he's made a lot of progress today. He's feeling a lot better. So we will be able to finish his last two days of school because he finishes on Thursday, so he's got Wednesday and Thursday. So he will he will be back at school. He's eating, drinking well, and he's, he's spent the day with mummy today, um, and she's just dropped him back when I've got up, because I've been asleep because I was on night shift, so that she can just have a couple of hours, peace and quiet, having a coffee with her mates. 
before she leaves, we'll take Matthew up before I go back to work tonight. So, are you feeling better, George? You feeling better? You feeling better now? Good boy. He's looking a little bit red in the face, but that's just literally no! because... What? What? Oh, that's better. That's better. That's better. Good boy. But yeah, he's feeling a lot better. As you can see, he's looking a little bit white in the face, a bit pasty, but I think that's just because he had a meltdown when Amy dropped him back. Because he obviously thought he was going somewhere else and not home to just chill out and make sure he's 100% before he goes back to school tomorrow. So I'm going to end the vlog there. Um, what are you saying? I'm going to end the vlog there. There's not a lot more else to say because obviously they've been at school. This is their last week at school before they're on half-time break. So I'm sure we'll get to some things in the next week. But he's going, he's, everything at school's going well. Um, he's doing what they're expecting him to do. So there's not really a lot more to report than that. Um, hopefully he's well enough to go to school tomorrow. Else it'll be another day at home, cuddled up on the sofa, watching TV, watching his tablet, um, having cuddles, etc. But apparently he's been on full steam ahead today all day, so he's obviously well enough to go back. But we thought we'd keep him off anyway, because it didn't seem right to send him back in when he's not been very well. So I don't know what's been wrong with him, just a 24-hour bug of some sort. Um, he hasn't been sick or anything, it's just his temperature has gone up and down a bit, so... He's all good to go, and we'll see how he goes tomorrow when he goes back to school. But that's it for us now. Subscribe, like the little red red rectangle in the bottom right-hand corner, or at the end when the videos pop up, watch one of our other videos and uh, help us support awareness for autism. And we'll see you again soon.